quality control inspection and testing plan for construction. Why do we need them? The type of quality control inspection and testing plan or QCITP adopted will depend on the complexity of a construction project, the type of ownership of the project, and the nature of the contract. According to ISO 9001 from year 2000, it is mandatory to implement an appropriate QCITP to ensure quality. The primary goal of a QCITP is quality and safety and not looking ways to reduce costs. It is essential to know that although cost is important, quality cannot be compromised for cost. Therefore, the QCITP should ensure that the construction work is carried out in accordance with approved plans, specifications, and standards. In the case of large and complex construction projects such as dams or highway construction, detailed inspection and testing plans will be adopted. In less complex projects, Field inspection guidelines are generally proposed for QCITP personnel. The intention of such plans or the guidelines is to offer directions to the QCITP personnel. In essence, these will help them carry out proper inspection, reporting, and documentation. The key element of a QCITP or field inspection guidelines are inspection criteria, contractor operations, QCITP operations, and documentation. Also, a construction inspection checklist is appropriate to the type of construction may also be included with a plan. In some cases, a detailed training program for field staff may also be incorporated. Besides the above, all parties responsible for inspection and testing should be clearly stated in the QCITP. Such responsibilities may be with the licensee or authorized person, design engineer, contractor and testing laboratory or independent consultant. Hence, goals and objectives of such inspection and testing plans should be discussed among key people responsible for QCITP. It is essential to note that the criteria of the QCITP are based on the construction contracts between the client and the contractor. Therefore, contract information on drawings, specifications, codes, standards, and laws should be provided to the QCITP personnel. The construction contract has to be examined regularly to check whether the most recent documents are being used. More importantly, the inspection and testing staff should be up to date with the contract document. The QCITV personnel should check whether all construction work carried out in accordance with the contract document. Accordingly, the contractor has to be informed in writing in terms of contract. Upon finding any non-conforming work so that contractor can take appropriate corrective actions. Hence, proper procedure has to be in place for communication between inspection and testing personnel and the key project staff. Reporting and documentation is essential in the QCITP. Proper documentation of the observation, investigation, and review of inspection is mandatory in any quality management system. Similarly, there are numerous types of reports generated through inspection and testing. For example, daily inspection reports, non-conformance reports, material testing reports, environmental compliance reports, and many more. Hence, depending on the complexity of the project, the QCITP should have the most appropriate reporting and documentation so that any confusion or ambiguity can be minimized. Furthermore, in order to track corrective actions or non-conforming work, a reliable and effective tracking system should be in place in the QCITP.